It's official. Surprising talk Democrat video rocks on Americans. Hidden secrets. Five things you didn't know about Kamala Harris. Before we can start the video, I would like to encourage all of you to watch the video until the end and share your personal opinions in the comment section down below about five things you didn't know about Kamala Harris. This will help us ensure and create an amazing and vibrant community here on YouTube. And I thank you very much for that. Number one, she's used to being the first. Harris already made history when she became San Francisco's district attorney in 2004. Not only was Harris the first person of color to act as DEA for San Francisco, she also was the first woman. Subsequently, Harris was the first African American and the first woman to serve as General Attorney General of California. And as of tomorrow, Harris will be the first African American Vice President, the first Indian American Vice President, and the first female Vice President ever to serve the US in this capacity. Number two. Her husband, Doug M. Hoff, is also going to be first of two. Kamala Harris married her husband, lawyer Douglas Craig M. F M. Hoff in 2014, when she is inaugurated as VP today, Amphron will officially become the first second gentleman and the first Jewish spouse to be married to an American vice president. Harris refers to her husband as Dougie in interviews and he's made it clear that his priority going forward will be to support his beloved wife, while also taking up a teaching position at Washington's prestigious Georgetown University Law Center. Number 3. She studied at a famous historical black college. Harris studied at Howard University a famous historically black college in Washington, D.C. She majored in political science and economics. She was an innov involved student activist who participated in anti-apartheid demonstrations, as well as fun-loving member of the university Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Harris went on to study law at the University of California, Hastings. 5. Her stepchildren call her Mamola. Harry's spouse, M. Hoff, has two children, Cole and Ella, from an early marriage to film producer Kerstin M. Hoff. The whole blended family is obviously close, as M. Hoff's children refer to their stepmama as Momala, and Kamala is even reported to be on really good terms with her husband's ex-wife, who posted a celebration message on Instagram the day Joe and Kamala one. So proud, so relieved. Congratulations to Kamala and Dog for making history. Well, dear friends, uh, in this second part of the video, I am always presenting my personal opinion about the five things you didn't know about Kamala Harris. I am also encouraging you, the viewer, to share your opinions about where she's used to being the first, her husband, Doug Emoff. Uh, when she, about she studied at the historical black college and about the Mamola nickname. Please share your opinion in the comment section uh, down below. By doing that, you will help us create an amazing and vibrant community here on YouTube. And I thank you very much for that. So let's start. Kamala Harris. A uh, 2020 presidential Democratic candidate that stood in front of more than 20 other, more than 20 other presidential candidates in the Democratic primaries. She is well known, well educated, well seen in the Democratic circles, and all of that knowledge, power that she um, got through her hard work 
as a female in let's say a man's world politics and uh, justice it's some kind of a word govern govern almost entirely by men she had the power the audacity the knowledge and the strength of becoming the first attorney general for california as an Af as a female and also as a latino this probably boosted her morale and boosted her aspirations climaxing with her uh, bidding for the presidential race when joe biden was finally chosen by the dnc to run as their spear bearer in the 2020 presidential election kamala harris joined the ticket alongside with joe biden and uh, fight the war against um, fight the the race on winning the presidential uh, the presidential seat and the vice presidential seat for Kamala Harris well uh, uh, this is a thing that uh, can make um, any husband proud uh, from what we saw her husband Doug um, off it's very very attentive with Kamala Harris from what we saw from the inauguration they are a very close family and uh, this um, information that the ex-wife of uh, Doug Amoff um, congratulated Kamala Harris and her ex-husband for the achievement of becoming the first female vice president and the second gentleman in the history of the United States this is something to, to remember well I think we'll have uh, four years when uh, President uh, Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris will have the opportunity on showing their uh, audacity and their perspicacity of governing the United States government and um, offering the citizens of the United States a better life also in this conjuncture with this uh, terrible um, situation economical and health situation that we are handling all the day on our territory or also in the international uh, spectrum I think that we'll need to wait a little bit more and see what will be their achievements until we can judge uh, those two politicians the president of the United States Joe Biden and his vice president Kamala Harris I only can congratulate them for achieving this uh, this winning and hope that they will bring more and more prosperity to the nation.